Hi, this is Alan Chiu from the Electrical Engineering Department of National Taiwan University. Uh, that box is a 2D billboard engine. Uh, this is different from the built-in 3D API in Flash Player 10. Because in Flash Player 10, if you ever change the property such as Z or rotation X, Y, Z, uh, you will force a display object to be cached as a bitmap. Uh, even if the display object only contains vector data or vector graphics. So if you simply want to change the Z property of a display object just to achieve a billboard effect, uh, the flash just forces you, I mean forces the display object to be cached as bitmap, uh, which is quite annoying and uh, I've seen lots of people complaining about this. And here, that box is a solution solution for that. Um, it is a billboard engine without. Uh, it doesn't force display object to be cached as bitmaps. Okay, so in this tu tutorial, I'm going to show you the basic usage of the Zbox engine. Uh, first, you have to obtain the Zbox source code. So first, you go to this project homepage, the URL is code.google.com slash p slash zbox. You can grab the action script source here from this IR compressed file or just grab the compiled swig file over here. Or if you want to download the latest revision, you can use uh, software such as Tortoise SVN to directly download the source code from the project SVN repository. Okay, so uh, if you want to use ActionScript source code, just download this RL file, or if you want to use the compile source, download this one. And okay, I've already downloaded it, and remember to set your class path here at uh, preferences, ActionScript, ActionScript 3 settings. Just add your AS source file here, or your library source here. Okay. Now, to use Zbox, you first have to import the Zbox package, which is idv.cjcat.zbox. And everything will be rendered into a scene object, a Z scene. So I'm going to create a scene. So I write var scene Z scene equals oops scene new Z scene. This is where everything will be rendered. And this is a sprite object. Okay, and I'm going to randomly scatter 300 boxes into the scene. So first I'm going to create a box symbol. Convert to symbol box and export for action script. Okay. So I'm going to use a for loop from 0 to 299. Okay, and instantiate a Z sprite. This is our billboard. Z sprite is uh, a, spe a Z sprite object is used as a billboard in the Z scene. And this can, uh, I mean, you can add child to this Z sprite such as an ordinary display object. So uh, this entire Z sprite will be considered a single billboard in the scene. Alright, so next we have to add this sprite to the scene. Oops. And give it a random position. X equals, uh, say, 1000. Okay, copy this. Change it also to Y and Z. Oops, extra space. Oh no, extra space. Okay. Um. So this is it, and we're going to move the scene to the center of the screen, and add the screen to the display list. I mean scene. Okay. And in order to 
make this work, you have to call the scenes render method. Alright, so you have this randomly scattered boxes, but it doesn't give you a sense of uh, 3D billboard. So I'm going to add some interactivity to it. Add event listener. Oops. Enter frame. I want the camera's position to respond to the mouse. So I'm going to call the scene camera, oops, camera position dot x. I give it a value of mouse, mouse x minus, minus two. Well, this is, uh, this factor of two is just a result of trial and error. You can test it out. change this to Z. And by default, the camera's position is at 0, 0, negative 1000, just for your information. Okay, and after this, I'm going to re-render it again. And we can get rid of this line. Alright, let's test the movie. As you, as you can see, they are responding to my mouse movement and bigger boxes are nearer to the screen and they move faster than the boxes in the back which move slower and you can notice if I move too close to the boxes some would disappear that is because these boxes uh, already go beyond the I mean, they got behind the camera, so we can't see them. Okay, so this is the basic usage of Zbox.